Madam Governor, welcome me in my own mother language, Odia. But now, every language of India is my own language. Thank you, Madam. I was looking forward to my first visit to Bodhuchiri, office of the President of India. I feel extremely delighted to be here. I shall cherish the warm welcome extended to me by the people of Poducherry. For me, it is a matter of immense spiritual significance that my first visit coincides with the celebrations of the 115th birth anniversary of Sri Aurobindo. He was also one of the first political leaders in India who openly expressed the aspiration of complete independence for the country in his newspaper, Bande Mataram. I bow my head in reverence to the divine soul. Ladies and gentlemen, it is very interesting to note that Poducherry has attracted different people for very different reasons in different phases of history. The French established their trading posts in Poducherry about 350 years ago. Duplex, the governor general of French territories in India, wanted to make Poducherry a major stronghold for the French. In stark contrast to the colonial aspirations of the French, Maharshi Aurobindo chose this place in the 20th century as the best ever for spiritual solace. Places of worship can be seen dotting every part of Poducherry. Today, I will be going to seek blessings of the divine for the fellow citizens in the Orulmik Monokul Binayogiri Temple, the Tirukanchi Temple. Poducherry's spiritual aspects makes it one of the most important centers of promoting yoga. It witnesses a large gathering every year to celebrate the International Yoga Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, despite living in a French enclave, the residents of Poducherry were equally active in the freedom struggle. Poducherry has been home to great writers and freedom fighters, river Tamil poet Bharati Dasan, who was born here. This holy land was once the award of great poet, nationalist, and social reformers, Mahakabhi Subramanya Bharati. He, created, he carried out his nationalist activities in Poducherry and played an important role in India's freedom struggle. Prominent Tamil scholar and freedom fighter VVS Iyer was a contemporary of Bharatiyar, who also took part in the Indian freedom struggle during his stay in Poducherry. Ladies and gentlemen, the political and social geography of Poducherry is rather unusual. Of the four regions of this Union territory, Poducherry, Kerikal and Yaman, Yanam are located on the Bay of Bengal. Mahe is situated on the Arabian Sea. Also, the four regions of the Union Territory are located within the areas of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and Kerala. Ladies and gentlemen, here, is, here in Pondicherry, we see a blending of diverse cultural streams. You have carried forward a vibrant cultural tradition which celebrates the Indian ethos of unity in diversity. The Tamil, Telugu, and Malayali influenced are visible. So is the impact of the French. The architecture, the festivals of lifestyles reflect the diverse influences blending together in harmony. The cultural vibrancy of Poducherry derives much of its energy from the music and dance form 
prevalent in Tamil Nadu. The spirit of enjoyment in demonstrated in Musk Red or the Musk Festival, which is a French tradition. In fact, Puducherry is a living bridge of friendship between France and India. This Union territory, which is small in size, is extremely beautiful. It validated, there's the expression, small is beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to know that in a study conducted by a reputed international agency, Puducherry ranks first in the social progress index score 2022 among the all states and union territories. It has performed very well on parameters such as personal freedom and choice, shelter, water, and sanitation. It is commendable that Puducherry has one of the highest literacy rates in the country. The sex ratio has, here has been favorable to women. These facts demonstrate that the people of Puducherry believes in gender equality. These are indicators of a truly progressive mindset. I must praise the residents of Puducherry for their truly modern and sensitive approach to development and progress. I especially appreciate that higher education has been effectively promote, promoted in Puducherry. It has excellent educational institutions. Students from various regions come here for higher studies. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to be in this auditorium of Jahalal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research. This auditorium is named after Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, one of my most illustrious predecessors. <laughs> Among his many contributions, we must remember Dr. Kalam's efforts for utilizing defense research for the purposes of medical care. Just a little before this civic reception, I inaugurated a new advanced linear accelerator in this institute of international report. I am told that it will be used for providing radiotherapy treatment to cancer patients. This equipment will minimize radiation exposure through precise targeting of the radiation. I understand that this machine will increase the capacity of the institute to provide curative radiation treatment. It will augment affordable advanced medical care. I feel happy to have virtually inaugurated the hospital of Belianur under the National Ayush Mission. This hospital will also provide access to affordable medical care. I am told that the hospital will provide medical services under the three systems of alternative medicine, namely Ayurveda, Siddha, and Homeopathy. I am sure that the hospital will promote holistic wellness and provide high-quality medical services to the people. Ladies and gentlemen, Poducherry is a wonderful destination for what may be described as spiritual tourism. Spiritual tourism is fast coming a global trend. It has the potential to provide a strong boost to socio-economic development of this region. The Union Government has taken several measures to promote tourism in Poducherry under the Sodesh Darshan scheme with the growth in tourism, activities related to health, tourism, and ecotourism will also get a boost. In the end, I would like to say that this unique and special Union territory of Poducherry has made a distinct mark at national and global levels. I am sure that the people of Poducherry will take this Union territory to still higher levels of growth and excellence. I wish all the residents of Pondicherry a very bright and prosperous future.
थैंक यू जय हिंद जय भारत जय पड़ुचेरी